Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. This is where we watch movies in my bed together with you. I've never seen them, usually you have. I'm just having the best time of my life doing it with you. So, tonight I am watching Unforgiven. We did a Westerns bracket on my Patreon. I'm talking bracket like 16 teams and then there was matchups and then they, you know, went all the way down to the championship. This was my most heated and opinionated and controversial bracket yet. The movie Maverick, which I have a reaction to, won. And movies that were favorites, like Tombstone, did not win. I think Tombstone ended up in third. But Unforgiven is in second place, so they lost in the championships to Maverick. Quite the upset, but that's the fun of brackets. Although some of my patrons would say the downfall of the bracket system. <laughs> Anyways, here we are. I'm watching Unforgiven. I loved Maverick, even though there are people that didn't want me to. It was so fun. I'm weary of Westerns, and so this is on the other side of the Western scale, I believe. I know it has Clint Eastwood, who is like the king of Westerns. I don't think I've seen a movie with him in it. I've seen a couple with his son, Scott Eastwood. I'm a fan of his, so I assume his dad is gonna be great. I think it's gonna be fun to venture into this genre of, I think I said in my Maverick, that was me riding a horse. <laughs> I think I said in my Maverick intro that when I think of Westerns, I think of like deserts and sadness and banjos and that's still a bias in my mind which i'm trying to get past i'm going to go in here with an open mind and i think we're going to have fun we're going to ride some horses do some gun twirling and it's going to be fun okay so if you do want to join in on these exciting polls you can join my patreon here we have such a fun special community they're super active and engaged and i love them all if you want you could also like and subscribe that is also helpful okay let's do it unforgiven no clue what this is about <laughs> it looks like a sad desert <laughs> with a banjo playing oh okay she was a comely young woman i don't know what that means it was heartbreaking to her mother that she would enter into marriage with william money a man of notoriously vicious and intemperate disposition when she died it was not at his hands as her mother might have expected that was 1878 well that's sad who are we talking about Big Whiskey, Wyoming. No. Hold the bitch, Dave. Why are we holding her? <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. You think it's funny? Get it! Get off her, cowboy. Have her like in the stomach or just cut her face? She's gonna die? She's gonna live. All she done when she see me at a teensy little pecker is give a giggle, that's all. You can hang them, little Bill. Are they like prostitutes? A whipping? That's all they get after what they've done? Whipping ain't no little thing, Alice. But what they've done, they can't Alice! Let's do the lawful contract between me and Delano Fiscal and the Cub War. An investment of capital. Oh my gosh. Property. Damaged property. Nobody's gonna pay good money for a cut of the work. You did the cutting. Come to the thaw, you bring in five ponies and you give them over the skinny hair. Five. You bring in two. Yes, sir. Is he like a sheriff? You ain't even gonna whip them? Well, I find them instead, Alice. For what they done? Skinny, get some ponies, and that's it? Hell, Alice. I mean, like they was uh, tramps or loafers. They were just hardworking boys that uh, was foolish. Oh my gosh, this makes me sick. Why is he called Little Bill? I got $85. If Delala doesn't care one way or the other, what are we all getting so riled up about? Just because we let them ride us like horses don't mean we gotta let them brand us like horses. Oh my gosh. I got $112. For what? For Delilah? You don't look like no rootin' tootin' son of a bitch in cold-blooded assassin. You're the one who killed William Harvey and robbed that train over Missouri. Honey, why don't you help your brother out? 
We'll talk inside. Is that Clint Eastwood? Uncle Pete said, if I ever wanted a partner for a killing, you were the worst one, me and the best. Pete said that, huh? I'm a damn killer myself, except I ain't killed as many as you. What do you mean that you're a killer? Schofield kid, so you call me. Schofield kid? You from Schofield? Schofield model, Smith & Wesson pistol. And I kill a couple of no-good cowboys. For what? For cutting up a lady. Cut up her face. Cut her eyes out. They cut her eyes out? Leave and cut her teeth. Are we talking about the same... Oh, Jesus. That was Marsh Wardwell. I can't move those damn pigs! <laughs> Watch your cussing now. Do the best you can with it and go to the pump and get yourself cleaned up. I ain't like that anymore, kid. It's whiskey just anything else. I ain't had a drop in over ten years. My wife cured me of that. Oh. Cured me of drink and wickedness. Been going near three years now. Oh. Well, if you used to change your mind, might be you could catch me. Come on, let's separate those hogs. They just got clean though. <laughs> Guy. I think they got fever. So he said that he's fighting these cowboys who cut out her eyes and ears. Is that like embellishing the story of what happened to that girl? Or did they do that to another girl separately? She's so beautiful. This here one ain't yours. <laughs> I brung for the lady, the one my partner caught. Aww. She's the best of the lot, better than the ones I gave him. She ain't got no face left. You're gonna give her a goddamn mangy pony? She Is ain't it? mangy, man. Get out of here. Whoa, whoa, let her take the horse. I don't know how to feel. I feel like that other guy might be kind of nice. But if he was, he should have a partner that cuts girls' faces. It's not like riding a bike then. It is windy. Do Pa used to kill folks? Those kids are so cute. Okay, it's freezing. Oh, she was only 29. You take care of your sister now, my son. Wait. Do you have any problem? Go see Sally Two Trees at Ned Logan's. Are you cleaning them unattended? Is that normal for 1888? I used to be weak. Give them this treatment. Now. This horse. <laughs> Getting even with me. Your ma, rest her soul, showed me the error of my ways. Oh. I'll be back in a couple weeks. You remember how the spirit of your dear departed ma watches over you. Oh. She changed him. I think he was good underneath, but he said the whiskey made him do it. We ain't got any money. Cowboys, you had. He was lying. What are you gonna do when somebody comes to collect? The kind of bingo come after that thousand or tolerate you not having it. Was them that offered the thousand dollars? And so it was an embellishment of the story because they didn't cut off her eyes and ears. What do you think of her? I heard you done the roof yourself. Jesus, skinny. I didn't practice the whole damn thing myself. I haven't built a porch here so I can sit up in the evening and smoke my pipe. Watch the sunset. Oh. Oh, them whores. They're paying a thousand dollars to whatever son of a bitch kills the two boys that cut up Delilah. You sure those whores got all that money? They could have squirreled away that much to buy them. That's so pretty. Wow, well, I didn't know Morgan Freeman was in this. Yay! Come on in the house, I'd son. Sally. What's he doing here? He wants him to join him? All right, so what these fellas do? They cut up a woman. Cut her eyes off. Cut her fingers off. Everything but her f***ing I suppose. Be dumb. Guess they got it coming. If Claudia was alive, you wouldn't be doing this. I suppose you'd mind looking in on my youngsters next week. Well, three ways. So you still have that Spencer rifle. And I can still knock the eye out of a bird flying, too. <laughs> They're gonna go with that young guy that came to his house? I don't think she approves. We'll come across them tomorrow, I reckon. They're like trails, like how... He's like, you might find me in this vast frontier. Kinda get used to my bed. Yeah, it ain't the only thing I'm gonna be missing, I tell you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm afraid it. She don't like it much, does she? You riding off with me. Gave me the evil eye. She just ain't allowing that I changed. Audia, she straightened me up. Cleared me a drink of whiskey and all. 
Oh, I love quiet. Just because we're going on this killing, that don't mean I'm going to go back to being the way I was. Just need the money. Get a new start for them youngsters. Ned, you remember that drover I shot through the mouth? The teeth came out the back of his head. I it's think about him now and again. He didn't do anything to deserve to get shot. At least nothing I could remember when I sobered up. Is that an animal or a human he's talking about? I ain't like that no more. That's right. I'm just a fella now. I ain't no different than anyone else. I really want him to no stay more. good. I'm hoping he's not like the good vampires. Like, they're good, except then they get a taste of human blood and turn bad again. Just kill everyone. I hope it's not like that. Shut up, Joe. This dude here is English Bob. He's the one who works for the railroad shooting Chinaman. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Really? Let's shoot some pheasants. Ten shots. I'll shoot for the queen and you for whomever. Oh! <laughs> That's eight for me in one field. Pretty damn good shit for a John Bull. No doubt your aim was affected by your grief over the injury to your president. I don't understand the significance of what I just saw. You know, it's a savage country, really. That's the second one they shot in 20 years. What's this guy's deal? Who's English Bob? Pardon me, gentlemen. The local ordinance obliges you to surrender all sidearms to the proper authorities for the duration of your visit. Neither my companion nor I carry firearms on our person. We rely upon the goodwill of our fellow man. And under the forbearance of the class. He knows they're lying. Unarm my ass. I'm gonna get shot. I'd rather it was hot and cold. I mean, it hurts me more when it's cold. <laughs> me too. You know how if you hit your thumb and it's cold? Shut up, fan. Hey! Oh, Where's Lindell right for Christ's sake? Damn porch. I recognize him. You know, you don't have a straight angle on that old goddamn porch. He is the worst damn carpenter. He didn't say nothing, huh? That's what they look like, that's all. What's everyone so worried about? It seemed like he was scared. Of what? Lean Bill? You've never seen him up against any like these ones. He wasn't scared, boys. Boys? He just ain't no carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's scared. There's a dignity and loyalty, a majesty which precludes the likelihood of assassination. This guy's a little passive aggressive and is. And you would stand, punctually put it, in <laughs> awe. Now, a president. Why not to shoot the president? <laughs> or not so passive. Hello, Bob. Been a long time, Bob. You run out of Chinaman? What's happening? Little Bill. English Bob, Little Bill. I want a name. I see you shaved your chin whiskers off. I was tasting the soup two hours after Ed. Well, actually, what I heard was that you broke your bloody neck. Well, I even thought I was dead. I found out it was just that I was in Nebraska. <sighs> Who's your friend? W.W. Beauchamp. Beauchamp. This is Little Bill Daggett. From Emmeline, in person? <sighs> you work for the railroads too, Mr. Beauchamp? No. I write. Letters? And books, Bill. Books. He's my biographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh. It's only a book. A book, huh? Oh. Well, I guess that means your boys can read. You saw the signs outside of town there saying, surrender your firearms. You're not armed, are you, Bob? You're a peacemaker. But that wouldn't worry you. I'm afraid so, Bob. I don't like firearms. Either. So, are these two guys, did they come here to kill? No way. See what kind of books Mr. Beauchamp is packing here. Little Bill is with Make sure you don't get wet. Poor guy. All he's got here is writing stuff in this here book. The Duck of Death. Duke. The Duke. I'll have that 32, Bob. What's Bob's deal? I don't get it. They obviously have some history. You will leave me at the mercy of my enemies. You've been talking about the Queen again? <laughs> On Independence Day? <gasps> what was that for? <gasps> what in the world? <gasps> Why is he doing this? I'm telling him there ain't no whores goals! Oh, they did come here to kill the guy. Oh, they wouldn't want to come looking for him. <gasps> yeah. They're making an example out of him? <sighs> Little Bill is a tough guy. So he's worried that all these killers are gonna come to his town trying to kill those other guys. Is he gonna give them their guns you back? To town, get yourself a woman or something. No, only one a man like me can get is what he'd have to pay for her. That ain't right, buy a flesh. Body and egg rest are so old, they'd never want me doing something like that. He'd be in the father of Oh, I can't imagine him ever like this mean, horrible guy. He's just, just so nice. 
I don't miss it all that much. Who's shooting at them? Damn, somebody's shooting at us. Shooting where we are? What is going on? Well, he's shooting up the whole horizon, Will. <laughs> hey, hey, kid, it's me, Will Money. What the hell's a kid shooting it up? How does he know is it's a kid? Who in the hell you got with you, Will? We never talked about no other fella. Better there's three of us in case they got friends. I figure I can take care of them two cowboys myself. And that's an awful good shot with a rifle. You can have bird in the eye flying. Uh-huh. Better than you anyhow, kid. He wasn't even coming close. Get your damn hands off my rifle, mister. This guy's got something to prove. I thought I'd check it for you. What, you going back with him? He's my partner. You don't go, oh, I don't go. What's it come to, three ways? Thousand dollars was a lot of money back then, obviously. But one of the prostitutes had 240, which is about what they're doing this for, so I don't know if it's worth this. Shit. What the hell are you pissing on about? This guy's Look annoying. Wow, it's good. We got a storm riding up our ass. Hell, I seen him. <laughs> Should have just gone them two. Yeah. See that hawk up there? I could hit that hawk with one shot. Hell, I could hit it too, man. There ain't no hawk, kid. You can't see for sh can you? See your canteen? <laughs> we ain't going to Wyoming to shoot canteens, goddammit. Can you see that scrub hawk yonder? F you, Ned. He's blind, Will. I ain't blind, you oh. asshole. How far can you see, kid? 50 yards? I can see well enough to shoot this son of a bitch right here in front of me. Okay, he is trying to prove something. 50 yards will do just fine. Now let's move out. Oh, that looks like a real hard case, Bob. Now that is you there. And then Bob on the cover. The duck of this. It's the duke. You always wear a hell and Jesus with a pistol, Bob. But seven of them. And you protect that woman and all that. How, how the hell do you do that? It's generally considered desirable. You take a certain liberty when you're depicting the cover scene in the marketplace, etc. Well, Mr. Beauchamp, the right is not that much different than the picture. The events that are described in there are taken from the account of eyewitnesses here. You mean like the duck himself, I guess. <laughs> the duke. Duck, I says. I'm so scared of him. He's so intimidating. You have insulted the honor of this beautiful woman, said the duck. <laughs> He must apologize. He reached for his pistols, but the duck was faster. And <laughs> got a bad blaze from his smoking six guns. There is a certain poetry to the language which I couldn't resist. I was in the Blue Bottle Saloon the night that English Bob killed Corky Corcoran. First off, Corky never carried two guns. <laughs> he was called two guns. That was because he had a d longer than the barrel on that Walker Colt that he carried. And the only insulting he ever did was stick that thing of his into this French lady. English Bob was kind of sweet on. Huh? Corky went for his gun in such a hurry, he shot some damn toe off. Meantime, Bob here squeezes off another. But he misses. The duck of death is as good as dead. <laughs> Bam! A Walker Colt blew up in his hand. You see, though, Corky had to have two guns and instead of just a big he would have been there right to the end. You mean the English Well, old Bob wasn't going to wait for Corky to grow a new hand. He just walked on there being slow. Because he was drunk. Shot right through the liver. He's a good storyteller. Oh no. His world just got shattered. His book. I love these old cowboys. They're so cute. A business up in Jackson County. Two deputies up close pointing the rifles right at you. You pulled out your pistol and blew them both to hell. Oh, the Pete says he never seen nothing like it. Shoot your way out of a scrape like that. Well, I don't recollect. Say that. How many men you kill? Oh my gosh. What the hell is that to you? Well, I got no kind of hell I'm right. This kid bothers me. How many men you kill, kid? Five. That's including Mexican. Why are we proud of this? Mr. Corcoran was faster on the draw than the duck and English Bob. Faster. <laughs> faster is his mistake. A man who will keep his head like as not, he'll kill you. If the other fellow is quicker, then he'll be hurrying and he'll miss. That's about as fast as I can draw and aim and hit anything. But if he doesn't miss, then he'll kill you. That's why there's so few dangerous men around, like old Bob, like me. It ain't so easy to shoot a man anyhow. <laughs> He's like, do you want to be my biographer, actually? Take it. Go on, take it. There's the key. All you gotta do is shoot me. You and Bob can just ride on out of here free as birds. First you got to cock it. Mr. Beauchamp isn't a killer. Go on, point it. Why? No, all you gotta do is pull the trigger, mister. Hot, ain't it? <laughs> what if, what if I gave it to him? Give it to him. You don't, you don't really want me to give it to him. I don't understand. Is this some tough guy act? I guess he don't want it, Mr. Beauchamp. You're right not to take it, Bob. I would've killed you. 
guy needs to write a story about little Bill here. I brought this along for when we have to kill them fellas. We, we could use some now. He hasn't had whiskey. I don't touch it. Now. Come on, Will, it's raining. <laughs> I know it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. It's kid, why don't you? When he was talking back there about the time them deputies had to drop on you, I remember there was three men you shot. Will, not two. I ain't like that no more, Dad. The story was even better in real life. He can loose old Bob's cuffs as soon as he's outside the county. If I see you again, I'm just gonna start shooting and figure it's self-defense. <laughs> I didn't steal your biographer. Dead on his own account. I'm afraid I'm the whole stinking lot of you. It's no wonder you won't emigrate to America. They wouldn't have you in England. You're a lot of savages. That's what you all are. A bunch of bloody savages. Nobody's gonna cry after what little Bill done to that Englishman. Poor girls. You all right there, Will? This way, mister. Must be Randy as hell to come out of this Happy kid? Oh, no, you're wrong, little girl. Oh, girl, please. Oh, God, please don't kill me, Bill. Please don't kill me, Bill. <laughs> He's loving this. Sheriff, I just... I don't have any more receptacles. I mean, you just hang the carpenter. <laughs> what? Oh, this is his house. Three fellas just come into town, Bill. At least two of them got guns. You remember Eagle Hendershot? I saw him. Well, he's dead. No, I saw him, Ned. His head was all broke open. I could see inside of it. You got a fever. I'm gonna go up and see the the kid. If I was too well. I'm worried about Will. Take a little time for myself. I guess you wouldn't want to come. No, he's sick. He needs a bed and some Tylenol. He's sick, but he's nice now. Give me the pistol, mister. I guess he didn't see the sign with the weather and... I thought for sure they would know no. each other. I ain't no harm. What about your friends upstairs? They ain't harm either. What's your name? William Hendershot. Well, Mr. William Hendershot, what if I was to say you was a no good son? That you shoot me dead. Isn't that so? He was not scared of nothing. Maybe he ain't on your son. Get up. Easy, guys. He lied? You see, Mr. Beauchamp, this is the kind of treasure. <gasps> I don't think I like little Bill. He lied. I know, but. Hurry up. You missed the pie, you ain't gonna find it. What about Will? That's what the horses are still there. Are they gonna leave Will? He does not look good, and he's gotta get home to babies. Put the man out, WW. Desiring to leave the hospitality of big whiskey behind him. Oh my gosh. It's not worth it, Will. Take it easy, little Bill. She's got to work. They just come for the billiards, so little Bill. Honest. You just kicked the shit out of an innocent man. Innocent of what? I don't like him. Jesus, Ned. You done this before? Many He's times. stitching him up. His pistol must have jammed. He would have took no beating like that if it hadn't a chance. Oh. He didn't even pull his pistol, huh? We gotta go. I'm here ready for another advance. No more advances. I'm like, you ain't done yet. Once this weather clears up, we're gonna need more food. Three days worth. Yeah, we could kill him tomorrow. I don't kill nobody without him. He ain't nothing but a broken down pig farmer. Oh. <gasps> he seems really sick. I see the angel of death. I'm scared of dying. Easy, Bernard. I see Claudia, too. Her face was all covered with worms. I'm tired. Don't tell my kids. None of the things I did. No, he can't die. His kids. You still alive? I thought you was an angel. Some big fella could kick the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. I must look good like you now. You gotta be the one those cowboys cut up. He just checked her. How long have I been here? Three days. Are you hungrier? Three days, I ought to be. Thought I was dying for sure. He made it. Are you really gonna kill them cowboys? Still a payment coming, isn't there? Them other two? They've been taking advances on the payment. Oh. Free ones? Alice and Silky been giving them free ones. Isn't Ned married? Would you like a free one? I guess not. I didn't mean with me. Alice and Silky would be happy to give you a free one if you wanted. Oh, 
poor thing. Well, what I said the other day about you looking like me, that ain't true. You ain't ugly like me. It's just that we both got scars. But you're a beautiful woman, and if I was to want a free one, I'd want it with you, I guess, more than the mother, too. Just that I can't on account of my wife. Oh, he loves his wife so much. It's so sweet. Is she back in Kansas? Yeah, she's watching over my young one. Jesus, fella. Is that the nice one? We're finishing, Ned. Get behind them rocks, David boy! Why do they want to kill Davy? He gets in those rocks, we ain't gonna get him. What rocks? Why don't you shoot? What's going on, man? Shh! Well, I ain't very good with my ears. <gasps> Not Davy! I think this is the nice one that wanted to give him. <laughs> Oh. Got him for the gun, I think. You think we kill him? We? Yeah. If I'm dying, boys! I ain't gonna shoot you, get up! No woman, you asshole! Jesus, I'm so thirsty. Please. Give him a drink of water, God damn it! You ain't gonna shoot! No! Who's the one that cut the face? <laughs> Davey! Again. I'm heading on back down to Kansas. Yeah, you're gonna lose your share, Ned. Shut up. I'll look in on your younger. Ned just couldn't. Hey, do Ned! It. I'll bring your share. It's full of shit. Yeah, he hasn't done anything. Ned just couldn't take another life. Parson said how he's seen three men headed out east. That guy sounds like he's Canadian. I didn't think they'd really do it. That kid, he's just a boy, and we all the nice one being so true to his wife and all. He ain't got no wife, not above ground, anyways. Across this tunnel, bitch, on the road, heading south. Oh, this is such a mess. Oh, it was Ned. I'll be glad to hear the names and whereabouts of those brothers, some of bitches. <sighs> they should have stuck together. You think he's still in there? He's in there. You ain't gonna shoot him yourself, are you? You can shoot him. This is so weird. <gasps> Okay, okay, okay. Go and get them whores while the f these boys and I the storm. Please, please, please don't whip them anymore. When their lies ain't the same as your lies. Well, I ain't gonna hurt no woman. I'm gonna hurt you. Not gentle like before, but bad. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. How can we tell? Go get him, he's all yours. He's gonna choke. Assassins! I did not think he was going to do that. Get him. Oh no. Now what? They don't know they have Ned. Is that what it was like in the old days, Will? Bullets whizzing by? I guess so. I thought they was going to get us. I was even scared a little. Was you ever scared in them days? I can't remember. I was drunk most of the time. I shot that three times. First shot, I got him right in the chest. Oh, why? Let's not be proud of this, okay? That was the first one. First one I ever killed. Yeah? You know how I said I shot five men and weren't true? Uh... Mm -hmm. Well, you sure killed the hell out of that fella today. Take a drink, kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It don't seem real. I ain't gonna never breathe again, ever. Oh my gosh. It's a hell of a thing killing a man. You take away all he's got, and all he's ever gonna. Well, I guess they had it coming. We all have it coming. There's so many mixed emotions. You wanna help me count this stuff, kid? I trust you, Will. Well, don't go trusting me too much. We'll give Ned his share together. Ned's share? He's dead. What do you mean he's dead? They killed him. I, I thought you knew that. Why would anybody oh. kill Ned? Who killed him? Little Bill. He was making him answer questions and beating him up, and then Ned just died. They got a sign on him, says he was a killer. They got a sign on him? In front of Greeley. Oh my gosh, Ned's dead. First Ned wouldn't say nothing, and then Little Bill hurt him so bad, he said how he was really William Money out of Missouri, that dynamited the Rock Island in 69, killing women and children and all. 
And Ned said he done a lot worse than that. What? He just drank. Give me your skull fail. Think of the children. I keep it. I'm never gonna use it again. I ain't like you, Will. You better ride on back, miss. You won't keep it. All of it. You don't have to worry, kid. I ain't gonna kill you. You're the only friend I got. But you've got kids. This is insane. It might happen. That's half to my kids. Tell them if I ain't back in a week, they give half to Sally two trees. You're gonna kill little Bill, ain't you? Stay clear of folks you see. There'll be a lot of them out to hang you. Get going. Oh my gosh. There's been a lot of unnecessary death, and there's gonna be more. So what that guy did was horrible. The sheriff said he had to pay the fine. He actually did pay the fine. I don't think he should have been shot by an assassin. I don't know. But I also know they should have not have killed Ned. Oh. We're gonna divide up into four parties to make a big circle. We're bound to come across somebody who's seen these skunks. Who's the fellow who owns this I own this establishment. You better clear out of there. Yes, sir. Oh, well, sir, you are a cowardly son of a bitch. You just shot an unarmed man. Well, he should have armed himself. He's gonna decorate his room with my friend. You need William Money out of Missouri. Oh my gosh. Kill women and children. I ain't like that no kill more. Just about everything that walks or crawls at one time or another. I'm here to kill you, little Bill. What you did to Ned. He's got one barrel left. When he fires that, take out your pistols and shoot him down like a mangy scoundrel he is. No! Don't kill everybody! Any man don't want to get killed, better clear on out the back. Oh, all those sheriffs that were scared. No! Just go back and be good again. I'm shot! I'm shot! You ain't shot. I write. I'm a writer. Letters and such. No books. You killed five men. Single handed. Is he gonna want to biography him now? Who'd you kill first? He must have killed Clyde. Well, could have been Nick Handy. Oh, All I can tell you is who's gonna be last. Little Bill's still alive. Oh, my jelly beans. I don't want him to die. I don't want any more people to die. I don't deserve this. To die like this. I was building a house. The serves got He was building a house, but then he whipped Ned, and I don't know whose side I'm on, and I hate this all. I'll see you in hell, William Money. Yeah. Oh, no. He got a taste of it. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm coming out. Hey, man, I see you out there. I'm going to kill him. Any hey, some bitch takes a shot at me, I'm going to kill his wife. Burn his damn house down. <sighs> Go ahead, shoot him. Yeah. I ain't no deputy. Go home and forget that ever happened and be good again. You better bury that right. Better not cut up the one who has harm no whore. Well, I'll come back and kill every one of you sons of bitches. I can't tell if they love him or are scared of him. <gasps> He's home. <sighs> Some years later. Mrs. Feathers made the arduous journey to visit the last resting place of her only daughter. William Money had long since disappeared with the children. There was nothing on the marker to explain why her only daughter had married an old thief of murder, a man of notoriously vicious and intemperate disposition. Okay, that was a lot. You know how Maverick was like really fun? That wasn't very fun. I didn't know who to root for though, and I think that was maybe the point. Because the sheriff is like this power hungry, mean guy, but he also wants to build a porch. And then William was like a very sweet man with sweet little blonde babies. He said he was cured of the evil and he's not like that anymore. But then he also just, you know, lost it and kind of went to those dark parts of him at the end and just killed some innocent people. So I just didn't know who to root for. And 
I want to root for someone in a movie. And Ned. Maybe you root for Ned. I liked how Ned did not pull the trigger in the end. He couldn't do it. And then the kid, his story and arc was also important because, you know, he was this like fast talking, yeah, I killed five guys and you're pathetic and I'll kill anyone and blah, blah, blah. And then he realized what it was like to take the life of a man. That scene where he like, was like, yeah, I killed him good, and then started crying. That was actually really powerful. He said, I'm never gonna use it again. I'm not like you, when he like found out that he's a... I know some people said like, I should have watched more Westerns before this, and it's true. This almost seemed like the wrap up of something. I can appreciate it without loving that experience I think because even in other sad movies there's still some kind of like feel good or redemption or or light I feel like this didn't have that but I know that was on purpose I don't know I almost want to come back and leave another review later because I have to think on this one which I guess is a sign of a good movie maybe okay thank you so much for watching along with me to Unforgiven and I hope you have a wonderful night. I'll see you soon.